Hey guys, RCT3 Crashes 100 here, and I'm bringing you this video of an extremely rare version of Windows XP called Windows XP Starter Edition, as seen here. Now, this version of XP became aware to me, or I became aware of it, sorry, after Sparky Techfer did a video of it, um, Experience RCOS, if you remember them from an earlier video that I made. Now, in this video, I'm going to be working on installing a few basic programs so we can basically get past a few of Microsoft's restrictions. Now, like Windows XP Standard Edition and all of the other versions, if you got this from Service Pack 1 or the most basic, you would have Microsoft Internet Explorer 6.0. Now, obviously, since Microsoft has long since abandoned support for this, it is of no use, so we need to get a working browser. Firstly, we are going to be using Firefox. The latest version of Firefox is supported by all versions of Windows XP. In the meantime, while this is downloading and installing, I figured that it would be a good idea to change my cursor. Now, by default, Windows XP Starter Edition has the large cursors that are used in the Accessibility Center. However, that's not really suitable for the sort of work I'm doing on this, as I've no reason to use this sort of cursor. So, just like any other installation of Windows XP, and up or down, we are going to go to mouse and change our pointer properties. Now for this, I, I was considering using the dinosaur scheme, but just for the purpose of making it easier for all of you watchers, I am going to make this just the regular version. There we go. Looking better already. Since this is taking longer to download and install than I thought, I think now would be a good time to just talk about this operating system in general. Now, Microsoft Windows XP Starter Edition is a special version of XP that was distributed to less developed countries, but also most of South America, including Argentina and Brazil, to name a few. Now, Starter Edition was basically intended by Microsoft as a way to get countries where the internet and computing in general isn't common onto the market in a way. And they sold this out at a much lower price, although it didn't really work, because in countries such as China, where this was distributed, which is actually one of the massive big holdouts of XP nowadays, people just pirated it and pirated it and pirated it. I'm not surprised if this hasn't been pirated a few times myself. Now, Starter Edition was succeeded by Windows 7 Starter Edition, which I might make a video on if I can get a working ISO file of it. One of the big limitations of Windows XP Starter Edition is that you can only run three programs at a time, and of those three programs, you can only have three windows, meaning that the maximum number of windows you can have on a screen at any time is nine which is a massive limitation. However, when I install Firefox and Google Chrome, I will show you a way to get around this. Okay, Firefox has been installed. Now we are going to go and download Google Chrome. Now, I quite like the gradient that has been added to Firefox because of Windows being stuck in the classic theme. You can't use any lunar themes, although I might test that out, but I have to say that for what it is, this gradient, which is on the default classic theme, actually looks really nice. So let's get to installing this program. I have just discovered a bit of a limitation to this as well, another limitation. Now, as you can see in the corner, it has a watermark. Now, on an LCD screen, such as the one that I'm using on my host, this would not be a problem because they don't suffer from issues such as burnouts. However, in the developed countries where this was probably sold, most people would probably still be using cathode ray or, you know, the big bulky computer screens, which would mean that basically, if you didn't keep using your screensavers, this would very quickly get burnt in. And yeah, that's not good. Now, Due to obviously this previous limitation with Windows, it meant that Chrome actually failed on its first installation because it couldn't open enough windows. So I've had to close everything else down and hope that this works. Now I will cut back when this comes into play, hopefully. 
And with that, Chrome has properly installed. Now we have two web browsers. I can show the first major chink, chink sorry, in the armor of XP Starter Edition. Now normally you can only open three windows, but Google Chrome and Firefox are tabbed browsers. So you can open as many tabs as you like. I'll just open four to demonstrate. And no error messages are put up. And so that is it for our first video on tinkering with Microsoft Windows XP Starter Edition. In the next video we are going to attempt to install a theme and see how that works. Now, I shall see you in the next video.